I'm off the better things. I'm only doing shit that's gonna make me elevate. Only one people around that's gonna Be make me. Hello everyone, it is Queen Sunbeam Tarot and today I am back with another video and this video is going to be a collective daily, okay? And we're going to be looking into the past, the present, and the future, okay? And this reading may not resonate for everyone as it is a collective message and a general collective message, but um, I do feel like this message may resonate with a lot of you guys, so... Um, let's go ahead and dive in to the past, present, and future. Please like, comment, and subscribe if anything I say today resonates for you. Please check out my Instagram. I do more pick-a-card readings there. I do more tarot readings there. And if you hear any other noise, it's most likely my daughter. And yeah, let's go ahead and dive in. So past, present, future, let's get a collective daily message for you guys. Oh, let me light my candle. <clears throat> so let's tap into the past energy of the collective that needs to be discussed the tower this present energy of the collective that needs to be discussed nine of pentacles and the future is the six of pentacles oh wait these are two cards wow okay i'm gonna keep this because it was hiding like it because it, it knows that i only wanted one card <laughs> so i'm gonna keep that for the present energy um i feel like with the tower it showing up in the past i feel like you know as a collective that we've recently really gone through something really either dramatic or drastic or just like a, a, a recent shakeup, like a recent shakeup shake up of our foundation, a recent shake to our foundation. And I feel like this could have been um, to, you know, I would say our, our, our insides. Like this seems like this power seems like this could be a lot of things. Like this could be, um, you breaking up with someone as we do have the nine of pentacles and the ace of cups in the present energy i feel like this tower could definitely be you breaking up with someone this tower could definitely be like either losing a job um having some sort of grief over something um or coming into like some sort some sort of sudden knowledge for some as well and or awakening to certain things as well like seeing things differently that you didn't see it in a way before i feel like this could this can go either way for a lot of you guys um this could be something that has like something that was really bad and really like um taxing that you went through or this could be definitely something that was just unexpected okay and you know not as severe so really take that for how that resonates in the present, we have here the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like you guys are really being forced to put in force, and I say that in a gentle way, that I feel like you guys are really putting a lot of energy into yourself. And I feel like these two came out together so it could be clarified that the Nine of Pentacles is really talking about, the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups is really talking about you putting love into yourself. You really putting a lot of energy and effort to maintaining your mental health, maintaining your physical health, maintaining, you know, a, a good life for yourself, or at least you trying to. I feel like that's where you're at right now, presently. And then we have these Six of Pentacles in the future. So I feel like balance is being restored in your future. And I feel like because you've been putting a lot of effort into um, yourself right now. And if you haven't, then this is the solid advice for you for right now in the present to really put a lot of energy into yourself, into loving yourself and taking care of yourself. Okay? Because there obviously has been a recent shakeup with the towel right there. All right. So let's go ahead and dive deeper. The Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, a recent shakeup. <laughs> Come on, the Wheel of Fortune. Like, I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, I'm really getting a change in fate, a change in destiny. But it doesn't have to be that serious. But I'm definitely getting, like, 
you were at, most of you guys were really at the low end of the wheel, okay? At, at one point. But again, take it how it resonates because this could also be signifying that, you know, an unexpected shift, an unexpected change, like you suddenly having to move or you suddenly having a new job or have to get a new job or something like that, you know. Um, Knight of Wands is right up under this Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. And then we have the Devil at the back of that. And I wanted to show that for some reason. So I feel like maybe in the past, some of you guys have definitely been dealing with some difficult relationships. And you're working through those energies. And then we have here the lovers. Yeah, I feel like there's, I feel like in the future we have here, oh wait, wait, at the back of the deck, we have a card that isn't really a tarot card, but it came with this tarot deck. And this is like my card for gossiping or negative influence. So I feel like there may have been people in the past that has been like that have been really like negatively influencing some of you guys lately. And I just feel like this is causing like a little bit of an internal battle with this tower card and kind of like it had to be some things had to be shifted around some of you guys may have been letting go of certain people places things just that no longer serve you because it just needed to go in order for you to give more energy to yourself because i feel like with this with this six of pentacles being in the future position and the lovers being in, in the future position i feel like there's more healthier things to come in the future i feel like there's more things that will give you give to you equally there's more balance like a balance like i said earlier coming towards you in the future um whether that be balanced connections as we do have the lovers here whether that be um balance within or balance um in your surroundings because it definitely can be with this um this card right here like i said negative influences there's things that just needed to be cleared out in order for you to have better okay in order for you guys to have better so i feel like that's what the collective is really working through like big shifts and changes energetically in order to come back home to self and really nurture self and grow something more positive in the future because behind this card we have the empress so it's like and the queen of cups behind that so it's really like coming into your own focusing on your own emotional health and creating happiness for your future i feel like that's what's happening and yes it's been a struggle with this nine of wands yes it's going to be a struggle it's not going to be something that's easy but i feel like you guys are working your way you know I feel like the collective is working their way towards their own personal peace and happiness. And I feel like I've talked more about this. I feel like I definitely talked about this in my recent video, um, what will be revealed in May. I definitely feel like I've touched on this, but I felt called to do a collective reading for you guys today. And this is what's showing up. Um, and, I, and I really feel like it's important to recognize within ourselves when there needs to be a change. Let me see. I'm looking at this Knight of Wands because this Knight of Wands wants to say something. I feel like this Knight of Wands is really saying that you're going to be putting a lot more passionate energy within yourself. Like, I feel like you're going to be inspiring yourself or you're going to be finding inspiration in a lot of ways or looking for inspiration throughout life is what i'm getting with this knight of wands i just wanted to touch on it because i did i kind of ignored it there <laughs> but um i'm gonna give you guys some positive quotes and a feather message and then i'm gonna head out <laughs> so let's go ahead and give a feather message for the collective let's touch on the feather message for the collective okay we have here new rhythms are coming into your life now you are encouraged to trust and adapt and i feel like that's exactly what we've been talking about that's what the collective has been doing let me just move this down sorry if you guys cannot see but that is what the collective has been doing it's it's shifting things have been shifting and you've been adjusting to the shifts and changes in your life and continue to do so and be very compassionate with yourself i feel the need to say and really trust your intuition and trust that everything is happening for a reason some of you guys will soon enter it into a beneficial partnership 
um luck and longevity bless this union i just felt me the need to show the back of that because i definitely feel like that's an option with the knight of wands here and the ace of cups and the nine of pentacles those that aren't really looking for a relationship there was a reason why the nine of pentacles and the ace of cups came out together right but those that are looking for a relationship through loving yourself more and giving more to yourself you're definitely gonna have someone coming in to really um offer you a new love connection, a new love romance, somebody that maybe just expresses their interest towards you because they see how much you're loving yourself, okay? So I'm seeing that here for you guys. But let me go ahead and um, give you guys your positive quotes and then I'll head out and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. Um, if you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm, I'm very appreciative for all of my subscribers. All right, and we got a card. Here we go. It says, to achieve greatness, start where you are, use what you have, and do what you can. So I love that for you guys. Remember that you have everything you need to adjust to the changes that happen in your life, whether they be negative, whether they be positive. If you are experiencing a lot of negative changes then it's time for a different and a shift in how you perceive your reality and and how you and how you think on a, a regular basis as well because remember you really attract what it is that you feel and think okay oh, in a cycle form okay so really just stay positive about what it is that you would like your life to be and what your life is and yeah and then you will achieve greatness and don't ever give up no matter what the circumstances are presenting you with i know it's easier said than done but i truly believe that you guys can do it so again if you like this reading if you enjoyed this reading collective please like comment and subscribe to join the fam i would greatly appreciate it please check out my instagram i do pick a card readings there i do tarot readings there and i really hope to see you in the next video i'm thinking of doing more collective readings like this so if you enjoyed this and would like to see more comment down below and let me know and i'm out